Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. How are you guys doing today? Look at what I got for you. Ah, he's changed. He's got some shoes on. Javian, what's the matter? You upset? Look how cute he is. Look at that face. Look at your face. Your face is so cute. Yes. Are you helping daddy today? Yes. He's helping me today, clean. So I just kind of went through his stuff um, in this bin. So now I'm going to be redoing his stuff now and finding another spot maybe to put it or something i'm not quite sure yet i haven't decided but i got this out here now so i have some drawers to work with possibly for him i'm not sure i don't know what i want to use those drawers for yet but i'm going through all his stuff i'm going to be putting him back um i decided to put the two toddler five-year-olds up top there for now thanks to Chris. He helped me figure that out. <laughs> so he really does take up a lot of room and we are going to be doing shelving back there. So I don't want him in my bed anymore. So up there would be perfect because they're out of the way, but I'm, I'm going to be able to, you know, keep them safe and no one will touch them and they won't get in any trouble and stuff. So hopefully. Hi, Javian. You say hi to YouTube. He needs his head fixed. He does. He needs his head fixed. So right now, I'm just leaving him the way it is. He needs to just be maintained, ma maintenance. So he needs to be maintenance. And I just don't have the time to maintenance him. So uh, maybe when I put his sister together, maybe I'll take him apart and put him back together. I'm not quite sure. Because he does have a lot of waiting in him, even in his arms, and he doesn't need all that weight, so I could utilize some of that weight that he has in him um, for some of the other babies, and then maybe he won't be so heavy. <laughs> so, I like that he weighs, but his arms shouldn't weigh. His arms should be able to go up by himself and stay up, you know? I weighted his arms accidentally, and now his arms don't go up on their own, so I have to take all the weight out of him. So, yeah, when I go to put his sister that, uh, together, I will do that. So, right now, I'm just kind of going through the stuff, trying to put everything back together. See, I did that stuff yesterday. Um, not much is going on here. Chris's friend is over right now, pain in my ass. <laughs> Everybody's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Stop bullying me in my own home. So that's, that's what I don't like, you know, but whatever. So we're still working on in here and stuff, trying to keep things clean and maintained, working on everything. I think that TV is just going to go. We're just going to get rid of it. And I still have more stuff to look at and clean and all that stuff. So I'm going to continue. See you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So it is 1.30. Six and I'm off to go over to the storage unit real fast. I want to clean this window, at least this part of the window, and then like you know get all the dust off before we go tomorrow. We're going up to New Hampshire tomorrow and take care of his parents once and for all and get that over with, and then come back and hopefully get back to work. So I'm gonna have to end up putting a new. Um, a new, um, a new what? Jaden trying to say something. He doesn't know what he's trying to say. Um, a new ad on Craigslist. Um, and try and figure out how to market. But there's a lot of work right now, and I'm not seeing it because I haven't been, um, you know, and I have regular customers, but it's not all the time, and it's not every day, and it's not every week, you know, so. And sometimes my regular customers are once in a while, so, you know, I still need work every single day, so. I haven't decided whether or not I really do want to work at that dollar store. She does want me to work there, but I could just tell her that you should have kept my receipt, my, my, my thing because I don't have even time to sit down and do it so I'm trying to get my house back in order so it's ready to go and everything is in place I'm hoping that you know 99% of the stuff or at least 95% of the stuff is in place so my turn <laughs> so um I want to be able to start, you know, making greeting cards, and I, I, I want to work on the babies first, okay? 
and a story. You gotta work on the babies. I wanna start rooting the babies, even if it's for a couple of hours. I mean, those babies will take me six years if I'm only doing it for an hour a day. You know what I mean? So I really need to like buckle down and have at least one day, like maybe say, okay, Sundays are gonna be my rooting days. I'm gonna root all day. I'll root this baby, I'll root that baby, I'll root this baby, just keep on going. Um, so I can get them done fast. Um, for me, like, I root, like, I can't even tell you how many hours it takes to root a baby because it takes a lot of hours. It probably takes, like, a maybe if you were there doing it for a week, maybe you could get it done. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it takes a while. And that depends on the size of the head, depends on how many needles you break, all that stuff. So I'm hoping to do that. Now, I have two toddler kits that are for Christmas. Um, I think one's kind of like a two-year-old, one's like a three-year-old, I think. Yeah, one's a three-year-old, I know. And one's, um, so I have to figure out exactly what I need for those kits. But even if I just wait until after Christmas and just buy the, the stuff that I need for them after Christmas, that's fine. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but did realize that two of the babies that I'm rooting right now, they barely have anything. Like clothing, shoes, all that stuff. So I'd hate to buy a bunch of stuff, but I want to find out what those other kits are going to be, what size they're going to be, because when I find out what size they are, are they going to be the same size as them or different? You know, I need to know are they going to be a different size? Because it's weird. My toddlers that are 28s, they, you know, basically fit a 2, 3T, and JVN's a 4 or 5T. So, where's the in-between? So, I'm sure they would fit one of the two of them, I guess. But anyways, I'm almost here. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I had to show you the house and what I've, what I've done. I did clean the bathroom this time um, since I've seen, talked to you. And I've done some work in the, in, 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 the be, in the bedroom as well. I was working in the bedroom all day today. And I'm still working on the bedroom, so just keep on going, right, guys? All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, guys, it looks like it's time to go through my storage unit again and go through everything. O-M-G. Well, when I get back from going to um, um, New Hampshire tomorrow, um, I'm going to plan to come this week and go through this stuff. i got to give some stuff to my friend Chris, so like that thing up there. This thing, that thing, um, the mattress, um, and then there's one other thing in here. Oh, it's inside the baby script thing anyway, so. Yeah, so there's some stuff in here that I'm going to give my friend Chris because he's, um, his wife and him are having a baby. So it's a baby girl, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to give him all of the stuff I can to try to help him out to save money. So it doesn't matter how much money you have, guys. Having a kid, it's expensive. So whatever I can do to save them money, so be it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys, good morning. It is Sunday morning, and we are all packed, ready to go. I am going to take my medicine. We have his parents here, so we're going to take them up so they can go get buried now, finally. So I am just about to make some breakfast and clean whatever dishes there are before we go and then we have a couple of errands to run and get we have to just get some oil for the car because we don't know how far away we're going to be from a from a place and um um what else and um we need to get bread for the ride up there so we can make sandwiches and then um and go to the dispensary before we leave so yeah so yep just gonna make some egg sandwiches with this and eggs. So I might just put one egg per each thing. So because we only have four eggs left, so I think what I'll do is I'll put an egg on one, and then that way we can each have two and eat them all up. So I'm gonna make breakfast, and I'll see you guys in the car. Hey guys, so um, let's see. We've already gotten the oil. Everything's already in the car, packed, ready to go. We're already gone. And now we are just... Uh, we just got gas, so that's all said. He's getting a beer or two. Who knows? And then um, and then um, we're going to the dispensary, and we are on our way. So we are going for the car ride. I, I think this is going to be cool. So I can't wait. It's just exciting to do it with your buddy. You know, it's one thing if you're doing it by yourself. But when you're doing it with a friend, it's so much different and better. 
And when you don't have to front any of the money, <laughs> not even gas, it's even better. <laughs> so I'm helping my friend out and he's helping me out. I mean, look at all the stuff that he just built me. For me not to do this would be, I'd be an asshole <laughs> for that. So, And I'll be like, oh, no, I can't do that for you. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm trying to get my glasses all really nicey, nice for the car ride. Nicey, nicey for the car ride, people. Make it look nice. Dude, I'm getting so fat. I like we won 40. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Someone's been eating a lot of food. A lot of food. Just love to eat. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. I smoke weed too much. And that makes me hungry. Doesn't make everybody hungry. It makes me hungry. You know what it is, too? When you find that other people are eating. So that's the other thing, too. When you see other people eating it, it makes you want to eat it. So... You feel left out if you don't eat it. So it takes a really strong person to, you know, stay away from temptation. It's not easy to do. But I just go up and down and up and down in my weight. So I will just have to do it again. So I'm in my... I go through these phases. So I, I'll go through these phases where I'll start gaining weight. And I'll eat and eat and eat. And then all of a sudden my eating disorder like attacks me. And then I'm like, that's it. No food for you. <laughs> I'm like, no food. Not just, you know, bad food. There's no food. So then I just don't eat for a while. And then I start getting sick again. And then I go through this, like, terrible, terrible roller coaster ride of food. And I hate it. But anyways, my buddy's coming back. See you guys later. Hey, guys. So we just got here. And I can only be really fast for you guys. But I just wanted to show you. This is the area that we're at right now. And it's where we're staying. And it's just like so, it's beautiful up here. Look at the beauty. Here, I'll bring it in for you so you can see it. Really see it good, look at that. Nice day out, sun's out and everything. All right guys, see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so we're in the room now and this is what it looks like. And then, ah, it's my fat self. And then, I don't even know what this light's for. Oh, <laughs> it's for this. So I guess we're checking this out together because I haven't even been to the bathroom yet. So, so this is the bathroom. Look at that. There's like nobody at this place. Ooh, nice bathtub. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, check it out. Alright, well, we're getting ready to go see what we can do. See ya. Hey guys, so it is Monday afternoon, and we are finally done. His parents are going to get put to rest finally, but we have, so we're leaving. We're actually going to, in town, so I guess we'll see you guys there. Okay, and look, this place is really pretty and cheap. I'm gonna do this here too, so... This is really going to get very nice and quiet, right? Chris, seemed like a very nice place. Yeah. We're both going to probably get one here because it's just really pretty. You want me to, can I show them or no? Go ahead. All right. All right, guys, so let me show you really quick. All right, so I'm going to show you. You just walk in here. So the church is over there. The main street's right there. It's very pretty all along here. If you see that, there's more mountains there. You can't really see a lot of mountains on this side, but then if you come into here, This is where you get buried. So this is where his parents are going. And each one would have like a person in it. But not all of them, I think. I think this one's all taken up. This side's not. And then I think some are on this side, but not this whole thing. But I think I want this side because it's the west side. And the west side, you get to see the sun set. I think I want to see the sun set. Plus, you get to see the main drag. And But this place would look cool. And then it's got these little things here it's nice and pretty and then a placard you, your name goes on so yeah thought that'd be pretty cool but we're off to go to into town I'll hey guys that. so we're in the center of conway north conway new hampshire right now and we're just walking the strip so i wanted to show you look at that it's beautiful isn't that beautiful sure do 
mountains. So we're just walking the strip now. All right, guys, see you in a little bit. I'm in a general store right now, and check out this store, ready? I'm gonna do it as slowly as I can to show you guys this. Look at this place. Oh my God, what in God's name are we gonna find here? Did he just bring me into a candy store? I'm gonna be really mad if he did. Oh my God, just the first of it. All right, let's go have a look around, guys. Oh, we talk. Oh, this stuff. Just in general, where are you gonna go down home and go into a store like this? Right. Have a look. You can actually buy these things. <laughs> you know that. Oh God, there's a moose up here. This is like a two floor place. I'm gonna go have a look around guys because he doesn't let me shop for very long. Hey guys, so we're actually heading home, but we're stopping at this place because it is a, like this country store. So we're gonna check it out and see what we can find. But look at this thing. <laughs> look at that monkey. <laughs> look at that monkey. <laughs> so. That's the fucking straw that broke the camel's back right there. Uh, Hello. All right, so we're gonna go in and look around. Huh. We even have a doggy. Hi, doggy. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're gonna look around and see what we can find. Guys, we actually want to show you the layout of and how beautiful the um, architecture is in here. It's pretty amazing. See how the architecture was back over a hundred years ago, and we're way up north, so. And then look at the flooring. And then Chris was explaining to me of how they're putting these in with dowels like this. No nails. No nails. And then how they did the notch for in there. So each one has notches. Same thing in there, you see? And then they did the same thing with the stairs. This is all one piece going down that way on both sides. And then the stairs are actually notched inside that piece, each one. And then they attach the stairs together. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice here. So we're gonna continue looking around. Hey guys, so we just got back home. We are just going to unpack, unwind, and go to bed. So that is it for the night. I will see you guys tomorrow. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. It's late and we are exhausted. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you guys back here the next time.